upgrading this to Shiba laptops probably be one of the easiest I've had to do. Um, first thing is, on the bottom, remove all the screws. Um, don't worry, your drives ain't going to fall out or anything like that. But just make sure you take all the screws out. There's two screws here hold the battery in. So once you remove those, you can slide the battery out. As you see, we've already done that. Um, the next thing is to g take it apart, you need a plectrum from a guitar. Um, the reason I use this instead of a razor blade, it's not going to scratch it, it's not going to damage it. But then take the top corner and basically you just slot it in between the metal frame and the plastic base. And then just work your way around, all the way around. And what will happen is you'll you'll struggle a little bit because it's tight in some areas, but you'll get you'll start to put a little bit of pressure. Once you get the first corner up, just lift it a little bit, and then just slowly work your way around, and it will start to come apart. Once it comes apart, um, let me lift this one out. Once it comes apart, the machine actually separates. Now, why this is important is I've had to Shebas where they've wired the keyboard through. Um, the two parts of the case before which means when you get one of these little ribbons are a real pain to put back together especially these ones um, but this this one extremely easy to upgrade we've, we've just put a memory upgrade in this one um, but I just wanted to share that so it's a bit easier for other people and you know what to expect when you open up uh, this this laptop all right cheers